Well, now we've got an add on. Isn't that amazing? So, just get ready to start painting. brush, two inch hog bristle brush. I bought it at the local hardware store. So, today we're painting a rather simple scene. It's not very simple, but it's easy to paint. You'll enjoy it. It's not hard to paint. We're going to have a glow coming out of the middle and we're in a cave looking out at water coming in and there's a forest outside. So the background will be pale with a lot of light. So I'll just paint a little bit of light in on the canvas to start with. And I'm using phthalo green, which is a very favorite color because it's a beautiful bright color. And the outside of the cave, we'll take it up a little bit higher, is all bushes and bits and pieces. Now, I'm going to introduce some red into this painting. So I'll put some red in the background so it's not missing. There's a little bit of red there and we're going to introduce a little bit of blue later. So we might as well put it in the background now because we, we got all the colours in the background, just not monocolour background and full colour foreground. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's paint some foliage to start with. The foliage, mm, we'll take it very pale. We'll find a pretty tone of green. We'll take it very pale there and some rocks or something in the background there and some colour coming down so I'm still using my two inch brush and and with that there that's the background foliage which will be a forest still missing missing that glow so we do want the white that's a bit too much just a bit of white there let's have white streaks of light coming in Something like that. I forgot to put yellow on my palette. We will need yellow because there is the three colours. There's blue and red and white and of course there's yellow. So we'll put some warm yellow there, just a bit. And again, I'll add that into the background landscape also. So we'll mix it with some white and some of that green. And that'll give us a a bit of a glow coming through there. Here we are. Okay, I'll take it out a bit further just in case we do need it out there but we'll possibly cover it with the next layer of paint which is the foreground. Not too dark, not too dark. All this is background so it should be pale. Yeah we can bring a little bit of dark in there. So I'll clean my brush now getting a bit messy and pick up the green again so oh that's blue okay we better be careful here we don't want it going blue yet that blue is to make it darker later and some dark green and some light green and a few bits of foliage that look a bit closer and possibly the same coming in from the other side dark and the light You always have to have the dark and the light. You just can't have light on its own. So that's an interesting background. That'll do. Yet those rays of light are not over the top. So I'll clean the brush a little bit because I don't want too much paint going on there. Yellow, white. Clean the brush again. There. And let's have a few stray. There. 
all the same angle that that light okay that'll do and where it hits the ground there'll be some bright colors here on the ground somewhere and some dark colors also so let the red come in green and red in in the ground there that's it and then there's some rocks I'll, I'll take over with a knife because the rocks go really well if you use the knife now I'll put red there first because I want red in this painting I don't want it to be out without red <coughs> excuse me bit of blue bit of green bit of red and that should make it a rather dark brownie sort of color there and there's some rocks coming in here Mm, something like that yes and because we're having dark I'll put the dark down there now some water here and that'll be blue now I'm trying to find a brush here's a bit, a bit of a brush it's an old brush but it'll do we'll have some water there and in the water we'll have a bright bit shining like that and in the water of course you've got the reflection of all those trees haven't we you know, like that and there'll be a reflection there so now i'll find a soft clean brush there's a nice new soft clean brush pull that down into reflections and i want a little bit of water dribbling in here so we'll have a reflection of that water there Okay, that'll do for reflections there at the moment. Or, no it won't. Let's have very dark reflections here. Dark reflections there. And here. Very dark. So I'll put the green on, and then I'll add the red, which will take it into a, a, quite a dark colour. And then a bit of, that's Prussian blue actually, because I want it to go very dark here and there. Now, that's given us the very dark this is going to be in a cave <coughs> my soft brush let's have water put it in the brush water water more water water and let's make it really shiny clean the brush up here nice shiny water Then I'll go into shiny water later, but I do want that little bit of white in there. There. Okay. Actually, I do want a bit more white. I want to attract your eye to here. There. 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 Straight. That'll do. Now the exciting bit, we do want some water coming down there, we better do that first. Okay, where's the fan brush? Fan brush. Dirty it in the blue, that's the thalo blue there. And pick up plenty of white. Plenty of white. Great big blob. And the water's going to come. And then it's going to drop like a waterfall here. Run across there. We'll have another waterfall here. Up and down, 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 up and down. So there's the water running in there, and that's where I wanted that shiny bit. And crispy water there. Clean the brush. And all around that, we'll have some pretty flowers. Here's the green. around the entrance to the cave we have these pretty flowers now we must have light and dark with our flowers we can't just have light and there's a pretty color I think yep and the reflection of those flowers in the water
Not too bad. Okay. Now let's have a little bit of that here. Not enough dark. We need that light and dark. A bit of that here. Because it's in that sunlight, we could have a very pretty bit of yellow on top of that one. There, a bit of yellow. And a bit more there. Looking great, Len. Learn to paint. <laughs> How are you, mate? Uh, there. Now, this is just the background, so there's a lot more to go to this. Let's stop now. <coughs> we do need some uprights. Where's that knife? There's a knife. I'll put the, knife, the uprights in with a knife today. They, they'll come out rather straight, but it doesn't matter. Just here and there a few uprights. Actually, I, I saw this picture somewhere on the internet and it inspired me. I thought, now that would make a good painting. And it will make a good painting because there's more sides to it than one. There's this pretty little scene in the middle, but all around it we're going to have a cave. And while I'm at it, I'll put the ripples on the water. And they should make the water look like it's moving a little bit there. There. Now for the cave. I'll find a nice big clean brush. There's one. We we'll use these dark colours. We we'll go for the blue and the green, and I'll mix it on top of the red. Right. The cave goes around. Something like that. And it's got a little bit of light shining here and there, but not much. Let's fill it all in and then we'll colour it in. We'll put the colours on and then we'll fill it in. It comes in, there's a rocky bit there. Now that needs to be green because we're going to have some lights on that. And come across something like that. And pick up the reds, make sure there's red in there also. And because the light's shone in that way, there won't be much light on this side. Something like that. I do need some more red up there. This red's not very good today, it's gone a bit wobbly. There. up here. Okay, so this is going to be a cave and we need some pretty colours on the rocks. Let's go this rock here. Colour there. Not much. And we need to make it look like it's, it's going that way, not just a blank wall in front of us. So we we need to come a lot smaller, I think, here. So you have that entrance. There. Very dark. There. And there. Come down to the water so that your eye doesn't get tricked. And this has got beautiful colour on it either. Reflection. And yes, that definitely needs a dark edge here. Put a light on it. Absolutely enough and up there just dark and now there's a little bit of foliage got to go in somewhere. I need that green. My fellow green's run out. 
Where is it? Here it is. Whoops. Put that like green there. And I'll clean this brush because it's getting a bit messy. There. Put it through the white. And then give me some pretty colours that on the on the wall in here. Not bright enough. Yes, we need the yellow. The yellow will make it look good. That yellow's not been good either. Okay, some bright on the wall. No, nope, not bright enough. Let's go brighter. That's it. That shouldn't be there. Down here is okay. Get bright down there is okay. Yes. Now, let's have some reflections. Get dark under there. Clean the brush. Clean the knife. Now, to make this look like water sticking here, we need some ripples on that. And because it's so dark there, we need a dark line under it there. And bring it in so we can see it. We need a bit of light on there. Now we need to make this look more like rocks. So with the painting knife, I'll just put a bit of light here and there. And I can see something missing, and that is a defined line around the side of the rock. Here. Very defined. Here oh, we could do it with a knife would be better. Do it with a knife, yes. Find right one there. And these greeny colours, the moss in there. Moss. A bit here, a bit here, a bit here. Mm, a, bit of, a bit of paint missing there and a bit missing there. And now we can have the water coming towards us and, and dribbling off in here somewhere. There. We well, can't quite see what's going on there, but there's something happening. Okay, a couple of defining lines, one there. And a little tiny round brush, there's one. Yeah, it's okay. We can have a vine hanging. So is it a rainforest type thing? Oh, not too much. That'll do. And a nice yellow line here. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Maybe it looks okay, maybe it doesn't. Just an experiment. Hmm, needs a bit of detail here and there, which I can come back later and do, but that's an interesting one. Takes a bit of looking at. I'm going to have a look from a distance. Hmm, needs a defining line here and there. Defining line there. And maybe one there. And up there. Need some yellow. And up there. And 
and there. Well, that'll do. I don't want to fiddle around with it. And here. We'll see how you go. You might be able to do a bit of jobs than I've done. But that looks rather interesting. I like that. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Let's have a flash of look at them again. Looking out of a cave. 